The number of people using email globally is rising substantially. In fact, by 2012, the belief is that the number of people using email will reach 2 billion. Obviously, the increase in email users requires advancements in the underlying infrastructure that handles email, the servers that handle messaging. In the case of Exchange Server, these advancements have been a steady progress that is easy to see from the first release of Exchange to the most recent 2007 SP1 version. Some of the features we may note in 2007 is integration that exists now with Active Directory, especially, as you'll see, with relation to how mail is routed according to the Active Directory topology. We have the new Exchange Management Console, the GUI interface for managing Exchange. It may remind us of the System Manager in Exchange 2003, but it has been redesigned to make it much easier to locate the settings we need. In addition, thanks to the new command line interface PowerShell, Exchange has been designed with an Exchange Management Shell, a command line interface that allows you to perform powerful tasks with simple commandlets. And we'll discuss the use of the console and the shell in future lessons. There are five server roles now that can in some cases be combined on a single server, whereas in other cases, such as with the Edge Transport server role, they cannot be combined with any other roles. We will discuss these in a future lesson as well. There are plenty of new transport features like anti-spam settings, journaling to make copies of your email to comply with government regulations, and the use of transport rules to control your mail in transit. A new unified messaging capability has been added to Exchange, and four different types of high availability solutions have been included. Three were released with the RTM version of Exchange, and one additional solution has arrived with SP1. So, there certainly is plenty to talk about with Exchange 2007. The lessons to follow will explain these features as well as many others that are included in Exchange 2007 in greater depth.